Update 2 on Typhoon Francisco, which is currently located in the open Western Pacific right now as a Category 5 Typhoon with winds of 160 miles per hour and a pressure of 918 millibars. The current position 17.4 degrees north, 138.4 degrees east, which puts it just towards the northwest or maybe west-northwest of the Mariana Islands, out over open waters at the moment, and the storm's expected to head towards the northwest, eventually affecting the Japanese islands, possibly the Ryukyu Islands and Daito Island as well, and then move on towards the mainland where it could also strike as a typhoon in about five or six days time. So you can see how the storm's a fairly strong one at the moment. Category 5 intensity likely to maintain most of its strength. Um, a gradual weakening phase probably uh, beginning in the next 24 hours or so. It may sustain Category 5 intensity for a combined total of about two days, maybe 48 hours um, as a Category 5 typhoon. Over those open waters, no land areas under threat at the moment, but that's likely to um, be that's likely to change as time goes on and the storm heads towards the Japanese islands. Uh, these markings here, the red area shows typhoon conditions possible in the next 24 hours the pink area there shows uh, typhoon conditions possible in the next 48 hours the orange and yellow is the same things for tropical storm conditions and you can see no land areas directly under threat at the moment at least in the next 48 hours but you'll see beyond that period uh, the Japanese islands in particular will be wa wanting to watch out for this storm uh, Francisco as it moves closer towards those islands could be a close approach as we'll see on the models in a moment uh, this is the current sea surface temperatures you can see how they're fairly high at the moment where the storms located about 29 to 30 degrees Celsius um, extending uh, above 26 degrees all the way towards Japan. The CMC model then uh, takes the storm towards the uh, Ryukyu Islands of Japan uh, making a fairly close approach to Okinawa and then moving towards the northeast um, making landfall accelerating into a landfall on Honshu in Japan. The GFS model I believe has something fairly similar, no actually it moves more towards the west uh, not too far from those islands at all before moving into the mainland possibly over Shikoku and then Honshu and then up towards the northwest um, and eventually towards the uh, towards Hokkaido where it will probably be extra tropical by that point. So this is the latest satellite imagery then you can see how the storm has been moving slowly towards the northwest over the past few hours the eye uh, slightly shrinking over those past few frames on this um, floater imagery here you can certainly see how it's a tight system a fairly intense one as well uh, looks fairly compact looking at this imagery but it's hard to tell the scale without any islands to compare but certainly an intense system especially close to the center um, where you can see all that uh, dark blue bit um, and the, the, the uh, white areas on that previous one showing really intense areas of rainfall and thunderstorm activity of course towards the center with a storm with sustained winds up to 160 miles per hour and obviously much stronger gusts so um, if anyone finds themselves out to sea there'll be uh, quite an ordeal with that typhoon bearing down on them wherever they may be uh, over the world tropics then as of right now october 19th at 8 p.m utc you can see the current systems 96e and invest located just to the south of mexico has a high chance of development over the next two days 80 percent um, and over in the western pacific that's where we have our other systems francisco of course a new tropical depression 27W which has formed to its east uh, near the Mariana Islands and towards the uh, southeast there uh, 95W not marked on here but you can see it quite clearly um, at around 160 degrees east or maybe a little bit further um, a new invest that's formed there in the past 24 hours and could also develop into a tropical storm down the line so let's take a look at 2013 compared then 23 tropical storms so far which is in the company of 2000 above and 1983 just below in 51st position 12 typhoons so far seven of which have reached category 3 intensity that's 115 miles per hour or higher um, in the western pacific there the 51st busiest on record record um, uh, not too far from 1979 either which of course featured the intense storm tip so you can track this storm at the website force13.com forward slash storm tracking dot html that's the main page for it that shows all the storms around the world at the moment including um, post tropical storms and current invests as well which could develop into tropical cyclones in the next few days you can also find us elsewhere on the web facebook and twitter to search force 13 on either of those you should find us fairly easily enough as always and um, please do show your support by doing the usual means of engagement, liking, subscribing, commenting, favouriting, following, or indeed anything else that you may be able to think of uh, that I can't right now. And uh, if you have any comments or suggestions or uh, questions about the current storm out there as well, you can do so underneath this YouTube video or by private message to Force 13 if you so wish, or by any of the other mediums. I look forward to hearing from you. The next update on this storm will probably be arriving at around 3pm UTC on Sunday the 20th of October 2013, but until then, that's all for now.